Shalom Israel. This is Daniel Ben Yashrael, and I'm here to bring you another life lesson about the truth that the Most High has established before his chosen people. There is a lot of wolves out there that refuse to teach you the truth and acknowledge Yahweh, our Creator. This video is about the true way to atone yourself in captivity. Is it the way of Jesus or is it the way of Yahweh, the creator of all things? We know a lot of Christians always ask a Yah only brother, how do you atone for sins without Christ? How do you have mercy? Without Christ, you're basically going to die. But the Yah only believers are still alive and still obtaining mercy and they do not believe in Christ. How is this possible? We cannot be ignorant of this matter. Is it simply because Yah never said anything about believing in Christ in order to have mercy and that is your atonement? Have the Most High ever said anything like that? We know he never say anything about Christ should be your mercy. You should believe in him. Therefore, you should have mercy. He never said no thing like that. So why do we blindly follow this thing when it haven't proceeded out of the creator's mouth? That is foolish. That is asinine. And you should go back to your shell and regroup your thoughts and read the Old Testament. To begin this lesson, we must understand that the covenant is everlasting. One thing we must understand about the Old Testament, the true words of the Most High Yah, there is a no phrase anywhere in his words quoting Old Testament or Old Covenant. But in fact, he called it the everlasting covenant. Why is that? When you hear Christians speak about the Old Testament, they say, oh, it's old. It's old. It's old and done away with. We don't have nothing to do with it. But the Most High called it everlasting. Here's the scripture right here. And have confirmed it the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. So why do Christians always go around and say, oh, the old covenant is done away with. The Old Testament is done away with. We don't follow it no more. We follow Jesus. Well, the famous Isaiah had prophesied this and said that they was going to break the everlasting covenant and change it to something that the Most High has never said. Earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. The Most High also stated in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, that he changed tonight. So no covenant, no law, no statute have it changed. It's forever until he reestablished it again. According to Leviticus chapter 26, verse 40 through 46, Christians still say that the Most High has changed the law, but they never can't find the scriptures. I could have sworn that the Most High stated he declared what is right, so therefore we need to go by what the Most High declared. Never add to his word. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. 
I, Yahuwah, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish out from it, that ye may keep the commandments of Yahuwah, your Elohim, which I command you. Now that you understand that the Old Testament is everlasting, and there will never ever be laws that is different beside the ones that he gave us, well our ancestors when they left out of Egypt. The laws of Moses, of course, the judgments and the statutes, that is the everlasting covenant. The sacrifices are still there, but we cannot uphold them because we are exiled out of our land and there's a certain place that we're supposed to keep these sacrifices. So he gave us something to do in captivity to show that we are sorry and that we can obtain mercy. I will provide you with one more passage from the Old Testament proving that he is still going to establish the Old Covenant which you call the Old Covenant, but it's really called the Everlasting Covenant, and that we are going to follow that. Here it is right here. 